Today we look at three prominent cases of women's college coaches, all female, either under investigation or out because of allegations of mistreating players. And we begin in Chicago at Loyola University where the issues involving third year head coach Cheryl Swoops coming to light now just one week after she was elected to this year's class of inductees for the Basketball Hall of Fame. Three times an Olympic gold medalist, a four time WNBA champion, and the first player ever signed by the WNBA, Swoops is facing mass defections by her roster. And in the past week, the school's official response has gone from transfers are just a part of the coaching business to quote, this is more than concerning. Much of the reporting on the Swoops controversy has been done by the Phoenix, the student newspaper at Loyola, under the bylines of Nader Issa and Madeline Kenny, who join me now. It's good to have you both here. Uh, I mentioned player defections. Nader, give me some sense of the scope and some specifics, if you could quickly. Well, Bob, what we've seen so far is that of the 12 players that are expected to come back to the team next year, 10 of them are asking to be released from their scholarships or have already left the program. So this isn't just normal roster turnover. This is big, bigger than usual. Uh, Nader, have any of them given reasons? Uh, we've talked to a few. We've talked to a few former players. And all of them have had consistent stories about mistreatment off the court, swoops having involvement in their personal lives that they didn't like. So it's mostly stuff off the court. All right. So, so Madeline, give us some understanding things off the court, personal life. Uh, are there any specifics or any, any light you can shed on that? that that's, a, that's an unusual situation. We've had a lot of anonymous sources say that our current and former players say that Swoops gets involved in their personal lives and causes drama within the team, causes tension, puts players who may not have the best chemistry together doing drills and stuff. She has made comments about players um, when they're running, that they run weird or they shoot weird. So some of that, some of the examples. Uh, what have we heard from Cheryl Swoops? What has she had to say, Madeline? She has not said anything yet. She was un unavailable at first when we broke the story. And as of right now, she has declined to comment. Nader, how has the school's reaction evolved over the last week? At first, when we tried talking to the athletic department, they basically shut us off. They, they didn't think it was going to be a big story. Um, it's possible that they didn't know about the allegations, about how the players felt. But as we found out more, as we've talked to them, they've grown more and more um, concerned with the story. And Madeline, what, do we have any understanding of the timeline of what this investigation uh, may take? They have not released any details as to what the internal investigation will conduct of, but they did say that they have heard about these rumors or about these allegations mm -hmm. later or earlier in the season, and they have taken measures to work with swoops on correcting these things, but players are still saying that nothing has been done. Okay, it's ongoing, Nate Arisa and Madeline Kenny, thank you so much from Chicago. Now at the University of Nebraska, they are cutting a $1.2 million settlement check for Connie Yori, who resigned 13 days ago after a two month investigation by that school. At least 10 current players accused Yori of abusive treatment. Two sources told the Associated Press of obvious tension between the coach and her athletic trainer at practice over the health of players. Injuries were a major factor in the performance of this year's team. Six years ago, Yori was a consensus national coach of the year. And as she resigned after 14 years on the job, Yori denied any wrongdoing with her players and the program. Let's now bring in Sam McEwen, who's been covering the story in his capacity with the Omaha World Herald. It's good to have you here. Um, give us, if you could, Sam, some of the specifics that are being alleged here. Well, it's 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 somewhat vague, but uh, I, I here's kind of kind of the gist of it, is that you know there was there was somewhat of a negative culture at times. Uh, there was. There was some critical spirit stuff going on, you know, just uh, being critical of players. Um, I think there were ultimately some administrators who were no longer with the uh, the program who were not happy. One of them has filed a complaint um, with the athletic department. But to be very clear, um, some of the things that have been alleged, which is just uh, you know um, sort of an over an, uh, you know an overbearing environment, has also been pushed back by players on the record. Uh, there and there, there, there is a player that's been on the record, one of the best players on the team, who is very clear in saying that the practices that they had this year were much easier uh, than they've had in recent years. Practice players who have also practiced with the team have said the same, and so this is an interesting situation because Coach Yuri obviously resigned uh, and she got a buyout, and uh, beyond that, there is there is disagreement 
about what exactly she did or didn't do as it pertained to the players. Now, there's some other things involving administrators um, that it's a little harder to get down to the bottom to because it's sort of wrapped up in the athletic department. But in this case, the athletic department did a two-month investigation, and they pulled the players in and questioned them and talked to them about Coach Yori. And at the end of that investigation, Yori decided to to resign. And so it's it's an interesting situation because there's two sides to this story, and it isn't it isn't all of the players per se against uh, Connie. In fact, one of the players who defended uh, her now former coach said the balance of the team, I believe, the uh, the, the assessment was was immature. But there's also an allegation that, that, that players, uh, individuals are being asked to uh, get involved in, in uh, the custody battle that the coach was having with her husband over the custody of, of, of their child. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know that the players uh, were, were a party to that. Um, that remains sort of uh, vague and out in the ether, exactly what that is. Um, you know, I, I have a sense of what, of what, of what was going on there, and it, it's not my understanding uh, at all that, that the players were involved in that. I think there, like I said, there's two tiers here, and I think that second tier um, is involved in some of the yeah. administrative things. And I think that's all going to, you know, eventually, I mean, Coach Yuri has denied all allegations including those. Uh, so she would say that, uh, you know, she, she hasn't said very much, um, but uh, she has denied ha- any wrongdoing. And so there's, there's a lot there that just seems to still be uh, being parsed out. Still undetermined, out, but it's exactly. Yeah, yeah uh, it's a little, Amy, bit, it's a little bit up in the air. Amy Williams has been hired as coach. Uh, Sam McEwen, thank you very much. Appreciate your time today.